Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Eric Surf 6 and welcome to another episode of Eric Mealtime. In this episode I'm going to be doing three coin tricks and at the end of the video I will show you how each one of the tricks works. And these are really good, they're hot tricks, but the level's not that high, meaning they're not that hard to learn, but they have maximum impact on your audience, okay? And uh, did you see me back on the beach there? I'm in Okinawa, Japan, by the way, island hopping. And got a bunch of coral here, shells. This is really neat. See, look, this one's shaped like a gun. Yeah, so tell you what I'm gonna do. Right from the get-go here, we're gonna do a giveaway. I'm gonna do a, it's gonna be a shells giveaway. It's gonna be a special snack pack. So I'll have some things from the sea and then maybe I'll have some snacks from Japan, maybe from this area where I'm at. And uh, I will give it away, one person only. Uh, and the only thing you need to do if you're interested in a chance to win this is comment down below, okay? All right, I'll announce the winner in the next Eric Challenge Time video. So let's get on with the tricks. Coin trick number one. This is one of my favorites. I really, really like this trick a lot. And it uses a 100 yen coin. Now you can use any kind of coin in your currency, it doesn't matter, okay? So this one's, you can see clearly it says 100 on there. Pay attention to that. And there's a flower, this is the Sakura flower on the back. Now what's gonna be happening is I'm gonna throw the coin up into the air and attempt to catch it. So it's gonna go about this high. Can you see that high? Can you see my hand up there? Yes? Okay, here goes. On three, ready? One, two, and three. There it is. And look, it is transformed into the Japanese 500 yen coin. Five times the value. That's right, it's a $5 coin now. Isn't that a beauty? No sign of the 100 yen coin. So that's the first trick. I will show you how all these tricks are done at the end of the video. Welcome back, now it's time for magic trick number two. This time I'm also using the Japanese 100 yen coin. Watch carefully. Watch my thumb and the coin, here goes. You see it clearly? Ready? Look at that, transformed into two 500 yen coins. And what's great about this trick is these can be handed out to the spectator for inspection. Isn't that a beauty? Yeah, there's the backs. Yeah, so $1 worth of coins to $10 worth of coins. Coin trick number three. This one I'm gonna be using the 500 yen coin. And this one is clever, I like this one a lot. It's very simple, so you put it in your hand like that. And by simply rubbing the back of your hand, if you rub it enough, you create friction. Your hand gets hot. And you're able to transform the metal into a liquid. And the liquid can go up through your hand. You just have to shake it up a little bit. It can actually penetrate your hand. And then you just pinch it through the skin, changes back into a solid. And you've got the coin right there. Isn't that a beauty? Yeah. Want to see it again? Let's do it again. So here it is, in case you missed it the first time. Coin is in the hand like that. Simply rub the back of your hand, shake it up a little bit. Oh, I can feel the metal getting hot. It's gonna transform. It's gonna transform into a liquid for a second. It's penetrating my hand. Pinch it through the skin. And there you have it. The coin through the hand trick. Isn't that a beauty? It's one of my favorites. Now it's time to give away some very valuable magician's secrets. I'm not supposed to be doing this, but for you guys, anything. So as if, if you can remember, I can't remember, but hopefully you guys can remember, the first trick started with the 100 yen coin, okay? But somewhere out of thin air, a 500 yen coin appeared. Did it come from up there? Did it come from the gods? No, it came from right here, the back of my hand. This is what's called a finger palm in magician's language. Okay, you're just holding it, it's just resting there like that. So this is what's going on behind the scenes. Okay, it can't be seen, right? This is what it looks like in the front. Okay, the back, the front. And what you do is, as you're motioning to throw the coin up, you explain to the audience you're gonna throw it about a meter high up into the air. And as you throw it, you hold, retain this coin. You're gonna keep this one, okay? And you're gonna let this go. 
So your hand comes down, it opens up, and then you just toss this up. Okay, ready? I'll do it sort of slowly and you can see what's happening. So the coin goes about that high. Got it? It goes about that high. That's the throw. The next part is you got to do a shuffle pass. So you're going to pass this coin, you have to ditch it. You're going to throw this coin across your body into this hand. Okay? And then this is going to go into this pocket. All right? Then you're going to catch the coin. So actually, this is probably the hardest one of the three to learn. But it's definitely worth learning because you can easily fool people. It's very powerful. And it's powerful because of the misdirection that I'm going to show you in a second. So right now my body is facing straight to the camera. When you perform the trick, you want to be sort of sideways to your audience. So you can get away with doing the shuffle pass and making this coin disappear into your pocket. Okay, got it? Let's put all the steps together, okay? Remember the steps are, number one, I'm throwing up the coin. Number two, I'm doing the shuffle pass. The 100 yen coin is going in my pocket. And number three, I'm catching the coin in the same hand. Okay, it's powerful because you finish the trick clean. The 100 yen coin is gone. So here it is. I'll do it two or three times because I know it's going to take the cameraman that many times to get it right. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, like that. And you come like this. You show the coin. The 100 yen is gone. Let's do it two more times and then I'll just use the best take. Okay? So here we go. All the steps combined. Ready? One, two, three. Catch the coin and just sort of flip it. Show your hands free. 100 yen coin nowhere to be seen. Once more. So the, the way to sell this trick is you got to make sure that your audience is keeping their eye on the 100 yen coin because you want them looking up so that you can get away with this little shuffle pass and have the coin in here. So let's take it wide. So go back a little bit further and you can see the total move. Okay? Make sure you as the audience is looking up because that's where the coin trick happens. You gotta be looking up. Ready? On three, I'm gonna throw it up and you guys watch the coin. Okay, ready? Here goes one, two, look up, three. And boom. There you go. Okay, I hope we got enough different angles there so that you guys can see how this works and see how your body's turned to the side. All right? Let's go find another location and we'll do some more tutorials. Coin trick tutorials, just for you. For trick number two, you're gonna need three coins. Two of the big 500 yen coins and one of the small 100 yen coins. So here's the way you set up the coins. The 100 yen coin is in front and the 500 yen coins are in back, okay? Just like that. There's two of them there stacked together. And then you can show movement like this so that it looks fair, okay? Or if you prefer, some people would like to do it like this, okay? Where you're holding the coins in back like that, okay? If you, if you choose to do it like that, then you can show left and right. But to me, that's a little bit wanky. I, I like the vertical movement better, okay? So like that, I think that, that shows that it's a pretty fair trick, okay? You're showing some movement. What you can't do with this is don't show it like that. If you move horizontally, then you're revealing the trick. Okay, so you come up like this with your other hand, show that it's free, and you're gonna take your thumb, and you're gonna push the 100 yen coin around the back. You're pushing it, well, it's, yeah, it's going around sort of the back, and then you are doing this. Did you see that? So let me, let me see if I can give you a close-up of that, make it a little easier. Okay. Okay, so you have this. Okay, and you, the, the main thing here is that you don't want to reveal the coins in the back. So as you're pushing this around, your thumb is covering the move here, right? So you're going like this, and these two coins go up like that, and then you can sort of show them like this. And the 100 yen coin is here. It's, you've got it in your hand, concealed behind your fingers. Okay, let's do it once more. Once more, you go so like this. Okay, your thumb comes around and you're grabbing the 500 yen coins with your fingers and thumbs like that. Okay, and then if you choose, you can hand these out. The spectator puts out their hand and you dump them into their hands and they will check them out. And then you slowly come down with this coin. Okay, and you can ditch it in your pocket, whatever you want. 
in your clan. They can inspect these. And it's pretty powerful going from one coin to two bigger coins. That's how that one's done. One more to go. Here we are, the last trick. Uses the 500 yen coin. Again, any currency, any coin, denominations work, whatever it is in your country that you have. So you don't want to go much bigger than this size though, and you'll see why in a minute. So you've got the coin here, and it's in your hand, in your palm, like this. Okay? How do you get it out of here? How do you get it to melt to a liquid and come up through your hand and pinch it through your skin? Sounds painful, right? Well, here's how it works. Behind the scenes, you have this going on. You open up your hand a little bit like that, and the coin's gonna come out here. There's a hole, so it's gonna come out and do this. Okay, that's the goal. You gotta get it to come out and move onto the top of your hand without anybody noticing what happened. Okay, so how do you do that? From behind, let me show you how it works. So you rub your hand, and you're gonna shake it up a little bit. So as you're shaking it, the coin can pop out and it will, you can guide it with your hand on, guide it with this hand onto the back of this hand. Ready? Like that. Did you see it? So that's going on behind the scenes. And then you act like whatever, it's melting, you're pinching it. Take your time with this because you don't want them to see that movement and then pull it right through because they're going to know what you did. Make it slow and then reveal like that. So again, show you from the back, kind of shaking it up. I've already moved it to here. Now I'm just gonna milk it a little bit. Oh, the coin's melting, it's getting hot. Oh, I think I feel it. I'm gonna pinch it through my skin. You show it, show this hand empty, and you're done. Isn't that a beauty? From the front, it looks like this. It's much cleaner from the front because you can't see what's going on back here, right? I'm just rubbing my hand, right? So you're doing it like this, like that. That was the move, but I'm gonna work it some more. I'm gonna work it some more, pinch it. And there you go. So practice the move is what I call it. You have to practice this. So basically, you're throwing the coin up, and as the coin's going up, it it comes into the, comes onto the bottom of this hand, and just move it over. It's it's really simple once you get it down. But you can't do it with a bigger coin because it won't come out the hole. So about this size or smaller is easiest, right? That's it. So it's just you're just tossing it up like that. And you do it so fast that they can't even see that you've tilted your hand up, right? You can't see that I went like that, right? It's very hard to see, especially from the front. It looks clean. So practice those, and you'll be able to fool people and impress the heck out of them with simple coin magic. Definitely would like to encourage you guys to learn these. They're not that hard. Yeah. So once again, from the beginning, I had these shells. I'm going to pull them out here put them on this chair, show you guys what you'll have a chance to win if you leave a comment below on this video. So I will clean these up, wash them, and make them look presentable. And this is just the beginning, okay? I still have two more days left here of juggling shows during the Japanese holidays. So I'm gonna go to some more beaches in the morning before my show and I will get some better ones. I know there's better shells in Okinawa, Japan. So once again, leave a comment down below for your chance to win, and I will reveal, reveal, select the winners, announce the winners in the next Eric Challenge Time next Monday. So thanks for watching, you guys, and see you in the next one.